Hello there, everybody. I found a pretty interesting uh, study today. Uh, actually, the study was far longer than this. This is just the end one, uh, because sadly, there was a double solution to this study. So I picked it up and cut it from here and forward, because now it's only one solution, and it also contains the most beautiful part of the solution. So anyway, uh, wait to move here and uh, win this of course we have just uh, taken a piece here on uh, g7 and the uh, king has come to f7 and now it's white's turn so this is a pretty tricky pawn end game how can we win this well post the video and see if you can find out the solution on your own go ahead okay here we go well, we want to attack these two pawns, of course, and uh, really get on top of things. So the first move is fairly obvious. Uh, it's sacrificing this pawn, promote to really anything. Black is forced to take, obviously. And then we attack with king f6. Black will now protect his pawn with king h7 and now it's getting interesting from here can you calculate how white wins this if you need to post the video again go ahead okay here we go so uh, if we play h4 here this is a draw black will answer with h5 he has this uh, square for his king to go back and forward we will not get any opposition i mean if we try to do something like this to uh, trap him he will simply play g5 and we don't come any further here uh oh now i backed too far so sorry about that here we go okay and if we play king f7 here it's also too slow black will again play h5 with the same idea escape his king to h6 at, and at the right, mo right moment push g5 so we need to take control here by playing g4 we want to stop h5 by playing ourselves g5 and you see here obviously if black moves his king he will lose his pawn and if he moves his pawn, we can simply block it with h3, and then everything will fall. So after g4, h5 is not a very good defense for black. And of course, he cannot move his king back somewhere. He will lose his pawn, and both pawns will fall. So the obvious defense is now g5. And the question is... From here, again, it's only one, one move that wins for white. Can you find it? Okay. Now, look at this. It's not h4, uh, of course. Black will take it, run down, promote, and win. So, that's a very stupid attack. h3 to gain the tempo is not right either. Because black have a very beautiful defense in sacrificing his h-pawn. If we take it, black will play king h6 and take back sooner uh, in the next move and th this is the draw and also if we take here well black will take our pawn if we take it with the king well we have a uh, h5 pawn is not winning and if we take with the pawn black will play king g7 get the opposition and this is a draw so that's why we cannot play h3 in this moment. We have to play king f7. And this is, of course, good. We're taking the opposition versus the king. Black cannot go back. He will simply lose both his pawns like that. And it's a very easy win for us. But it's not over there. He has a very smart defense. Again, sacrificing his h pawn, playing h5. And now it's getting complicated. How are we winning this for white? Again, all, just one move will win this for us. Can you see it? Okay. It's not going back to F6. 
it will take and even if we take here well he will just leave his pawn there and move back and forward with his king allowing us to have a corner pawn which will not win so we have to do something else and now we have the beautiful move of h4 we're doing a counter sacrifice this is a fantastic move h4 and this is winning for white because look at this if it takes our pawn we will simply pass and now you see why the king position of f7 is so brilliant we will get to play g6 uh, with a tempo and we will promote and even if black promotes also well we're not too sorry about that because we have a mate in one move here so black cannot take our pawn on h4 what if it takes the pawn on g4 well it's pretty much the same actually we take his pawn and the same will apply we get to play g6 with a check and then just continue and obviously this is winning for us we don't check instead we just take this queen and we win soon enough okay so is this it well not really we are not done yet after we play h4 black can play king h6 now uh, protecting both his pawns our king is a bit away from the action and we need to find again the only move that wins now it's not maybe that hard to find uh, because it's king f6 we want to take control over things also why by putting our king closer to the action if we take anything here well it's pretty obvious this is a draw and the same if we take here well this is actually losing for for us you can simply play g4 and just run down so no no we play king f f6 here after this and now look at what happens again if it takes on h4 it will be the same we go here with a check with the, get the tempo move now instead and of course we cannot push the pawn now instead we go back to f7 and it will be the same variation as before and the same goes for takes here take with a check king h7 we follow up with king f7 and it will be the same variation as before and if black tries something like going back now to h7 well it's easy enough we take this pawn he will perhaps take or just push forward and again only one move wins of course we play king to f7 help our pawn to promotion and we will beat him to it and we will win this as white so that was this study and the uh, move i really fell for is the double sacrifice here after black plays h5 and the beautiful follow-up with h4 like this to turn this into a victory really really nice study i think and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you managed to get it all the way to the win all right thank you everybody for watching have a great day bye bye